contextualize this triptych by Mark Hipper behind me, I'm going to draw on a paper that he gave in uh, the spring of 2010, described as the shifting discolor, which is, reveals his meditations on chromatic gray. This paper was originally delivered at a Color Colloquium in 2010, hosted by Rhodes University. Um, Mark Hipper was, at the time, painting a senior painting lecturer in the department. What makes these works um, indicative of his oeuvre is that he would focus on the colours that are unseen within the spectral shifts um, and tonal gradients between black and white, meditating on the use of what he terms chromatic grey. As he describes, grey is, we think, monochromatic, dull, colourless. The world of colour etoliated and reduced to a tonal scale. Reduced, that is, to a gradation of tone between white and black. This understanding of grey, however, is an artificial construct. A scale of measurement for the purpose of classification and order within a theory of light and colour and the industries that need standardised products. What these paintings also reveal is Mark's exploration between not only the tonal gradients and shifts between black and white, but indeed the various elements of brown that emerge um, in this universe of chromatic grey. Brown confuses theorists because there's a conspicuousness of its absence in colour books. Quotes Wittgenstein, who says that there's no physical stimuli for brown, no brown light, brown is not on the spectrum. There is no such thing as a clear brown, only a muddy one. This observation might have been made in regard to chromatic greys at the same time. Browns and greys are polychromatic, that is, they reflect more than one wavelength of light at the same time. They are both associated with the muddying of light, and that is its impurity. And this muddied yet complex chroma is the subject indeed of Mark's paper and of the paintings behind me.